Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a wish haul, and it is a Lego wish haul. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to call them Legos, just because it's a well-known kind of what they are. Obviously, they're not official Legos. They're more like, I think they call them on Wish, like, building blocks or, like, block something. But we're going to call them Legos while we're on here. So I got one a long, long time ago, this one right here, and I loved it. Putting it together was so much fun. I love how it's a little bit of, like a scene. Little burgers. Look at see it's McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> and then I put together this one. Now I did something wrong, obviously, because I think the top is supposed to clip on. But like look at all the intricate stuff on the inside. Like look at this thing. And I made a few mistakes along the way, and Rob had to help me a couple times, but I still really did enjoy it. I find that, I think I find that, like, building things is my jam. Like, it's, it's what I like to do. So I bought four more, like, sets. Now, one is, like, a whole street scene. And this video will just be me putting together all of them. Now, the goal is I bought shelves to go up here, and I will put all my Legos, anything that I built or put together. I can put them all up there. But this video is probably going to take about two months. Because I'm not going to, I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to do it, try to, like, speedway through these things. But we're just going to try to do all these, see how it goes. I'll take you through a little bit of the process. So I feel like we're just going to like pick one out randomly. I'm taking this one. So this one I paid $17.45. Let's see which one it is. Oh, this is the... And also they come with stickers and things you can put on where you need to. This is the merry-go-round. I think probably if you like Legos, you probably have looked and seen. They have so many different ones. So yeah, so this is the merry-go-round. And inside you'll get... All these bags of pieces. It's very, it's very intricate. It's very intricate. And when I've done these before, even though they came in different bags, it's not like this bag was for one thing, that bag's for everything. So usually what I do is I put them in two big things and just kind of search through as I go. But it'll tell you on the thing, I'll just show you like right here. It'll tell you what you need. And then you just grab those things you need and then you put that part together and then move on to the next one. And I mean, it's pretty elaborate. Like, these are all the pieces. <laughs> That's a lot. So they do take a while. Like I said, I'm not in a rush. Yes, I could sit down and probably do a, one in a, in a whole day if I sat down and did the whole entire day. Usually I do like 30 minute sessions. Sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes 15. <laughs> so we're going to do all these in the video today. We'll go, I'll take you through the steps on all of them in the video. And then we'll see the final results. It's going to be a lot of work. But hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. So, next I'll show you my setup and kind of get started, I guess. Okay, so here's the setup. I put all the things in here. I think I got from Michael's grab bags. The big ones I kind of keep to the side. I brought this down in here to work on. Because you'll put your pieces in here so they won't fall off. And then I kind of fold this thing to what I need to do. So now I'm going to be looking for that making... Well, maybe we'll go through to five, maybe? Let's see. I'm going to get everything all set up and ready and I'll show you guys putting some together. All right, so now I have all the pieces together for step one. Obviously, don't judge me on anything. I might do whatever. Like, I just literally... Sometimes it takes me a minute to figure everything out. Put that in there. That goes there. That goes there. And you just kind of follow what it says. You just follow everything it says to do. And then this goes right here. And it holds them all together. And then these ones go on the top. <laughs> this is probably hard to watch. It's probably hard to look at and see me actually doing it. So I'm going to put together this step and then I'll show you this step. And then I'll probably do like four or five more steps and you guys can start, kind of start seeing it like grow. And here you go. Step one is complete. <laughs> I know it doesn't look anything crazy yet, but we're working on a merry-go-round here. So I'm going to do about five or six more steps and then I'll kind of give you another little update. You guys can see how it's coming together. So this is one through eight steps. <laughs> little window, little thing inside you could put to like show is it moving. There's a little guy in there. I did mess up a couple times, but it'll happen. These are much harder to take apart than regular Legos. I had to use my teeth on one. <laughs> now it's also up to you if you want to really go through and try to put these in a sense of order 
I kind of like it as like a little game. It's almost like a challenge as I'm making it, try to find every single little one. And sometimes it'll be like where there was one, where there literally was only one item. And so like, it really was hard to try to find just the one thing in here. But I kind of like that little bit of extra, I don't know, searching instead of having everything all laid out perfect for me, but it's completely up to you, whatever you want to do. But so far it's come out pretty cute. There's 36 steps. I'm at eight. <laughs> it's, it gets a little bit more elaborate. So maybe every eight steps, I'll kind of check in and show you guys what it's looking like. I think I might be done for today. My back already hurts from leaning over. So we'll see. Okay, so just kidding, I didn't stop. <laughs> now I am stopping. But I made this whole thing, which is like the middle part. Look at how intricate, how much time it took to make. I should be doing something else and not doing this right now. And then I prepped for number 17. No, 16, sorry, number 16. We're gonna make all these little things. Look at how many. <laughs> and all these little stickers have to go on it. But we're really down to Legos now. So this may not take me as long as I thought it would take me. But I think it's so cute. All these little tiny, like every single one of these little things I had to put in. And like this isn't even in the mix right now. <laughs> so I'm going to call it quits for the day and update you guys. I guess when it looks more together. And here I am now. Got these on, all the stickers on. Clipped in. They clip in right there. I started making the little, what do we call them? The things you ride in. So now I'm on step 21. Time to take another break. It's actually the same day. I got, <laughs> I may just keep doing this today, who knows. But got all the setup, everything I need. Now that I know how to do the first one, which is the purple, it makes me so much easier. But I'm gonna take a little break again, but I think it's gonna be so cute. And I think like, these will actually like move while the thing spins. That's gonna be kind of cute. I'm getting very excited. Okay guys, I finished it. This is how many pieces were left over. Here's a little concession stand that we, not concession stand, ticket booth that you saw earlier. And here is the final finale. Look at the intricateness. Little flowers right here. All in the back done, little things all hooked on, and then the best part is it actually goes. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Now did I make mistakes? Yeah, I just take things thing apart a bunch of times. <laughs> Do I always make mistakes? That's okay. Make sure you read those directions. That's the most important thing is following like how many it says to get. Like a lot of times I'll go and I'll be like, oh, I'm like, why am I missing something? I'm like, oh, I forgot I had needed two of these, not just one. So I'm pleased with number one. I'm pleased with number one, where we have like a whole... I mean, it's going to be just like a random now at this point, which we're going to pull out next. So I guess we will go upstairs and see what the next one will be putting together is. All right, guys, so the first one is done. To show you a better view, here is the little ticket stand. And then here, you want to break anything? It's little carousel. How cute is that? I love the fact that it has the opportunity to like move. So it's like a real carousel. And at the end, I'll show you all of them. Hopefully at the end of the video, I'll have the shelves up. We'll see. <laughs> so now I'm reaching in. There's one really big one. That's obviously going to be last. I can't remember what I got. So this, oh, there's two in here. So this was $17.45 each. It might not take that long. So we'll start with the first one. What is this? Well, I think I got a lot of things that are kind of like for... Wait, this is the pirate ship? And that one took me two days. One session was pretty long. The second one wasn't that bad. So it was like, I don't know, maybe like four hours I put into it. So hopefully this will be about the same thing. And what is the other one? I guess we'll, we'll figure that out later. So now, onto the second one. We have the same, same exact thing. Oh, I did not know. Rob told me that this is a Lego remover. I said, oh, you're not supposed to use your teeth like I've been doing? I didn't know there was such thing as a Lego. I was like, what is this piece? He said, that's a Lego remover. I was like, what? Game changer. <laughs> Save my teeth. So this has 
three, four bags. I have four different little bags. Lots and lots of little, little pieces. Lots of chances for me to make a mistake and then in turn have to go back and retrace my steps. But we'll probably just do this. We'll probably give you like little clips and you put it together. And then we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so I figured on this one maybe I would give you a little bit more like of a step-by-step. -step. So we got these two pieces. It's supposed to do like this. Then you got this one to hold it together. <laughs> this is not like, I'm not good at doing like tutorials and stuff like this. That goes there. And remember, if you make a mistake, not a big deal. You can always fix it. You got that done. Then the little man goes right here. Which way is he facing? He's facing towards it. Oh God. Step one. And here we go, we got step two completed. That's a little cockeyed. <laughs> step two completed, look he's got a hat on now. Look how cute. All right, moving on to the next step. Step number three, looks kind of like coming together. Even this thing little, I think even like opens. Look how cute little ice cream kind of stand. Step four, as you can tell, I already did something wrong. So when I had all those ice creams in the front, Turns out I was wrong, they went inside of here. I'd have a hard time putting them in here. Some turns on the side, but you get the gist of it. Now you got the little, now it really looks like a little ice cream truck or ice cream vendor. This is actually six, seven, eight, and nine. Not very impressive, so that's why I wasn't showing you between each step. Now I'm gonna move on. All right, and here's just step number 10. So you can see how some steps are just easy and then some are really super elaborate, but you can see that the boat's kind of coming together. I think I'm going to call it quits for today and we'll pick up again, hopefully tomorrow. All right, guys. So here is step 11 through 14. As you can tell, it's really starting to come together. These little chains over here, you got the back, all the seats are in. The only thing that's not in there is this because it keeps falling out of it. The little flag at the top. There's the front of it. So I think I'm just going to do a whole row and then do like a check-in like this instead of what I was doing. Let's do that. And this right here is 15 through 17. These were a little bit difficult to make and I actually had to make four of them so these will come in later. Then I realized when I was putting one of these together that I was missing a color and I was like wait a minute why is there only one of those left? Turns out way over here I put the wrong color in that was supposed to go over here so I had to take this apart and this apart, fix them all up. But you know what, it's still fun. It's still fun. I even love the fun of just sitting there and scavenging in there trying to find uh, my pieces, which I can't find one piece. And one at the end, I can find the piece that goes at the end of this. If I can't, oh well, nobody will know. All right, I think I'm done for today. So we'll check back in how many more steps we got. Or at least how many more rows we have. One, two, three, so four more rows. So we'll get four more clips. See you soon. All right, guys, so this is 18, 19, and 20. I mean, it's coming together. These keep falling out. I'll hook them in at the end. They keep falling out. But look, it's actually coming together. The next few steps look a little difficult, but I'll get through them. All right, so here we have 21 and 22. It's actually really starting to like come together and make the whole like, you know, pirate boat, pirate boat, pirate boat thing right now. So the next two rows are pretty much just making the stand. So I'm going to do the next two rows and then show you guys. And then we'll do the last row, which is the final finale. Okay, so here we got number, what is it? 23 through 27. That's the whole base of it. If you hear anything in the background, I'm also doing laundry. <laughs> Killing two birds with one stone. But see, it's starting to come together. These are where all the things are going to go. So I'm just going to finish this up and then we will see the final result and then move on to the next one. And now for the final finale. So we saw this earlier, this is the little man in the ice cream station. And then, oh, I broke a piece off. <laughs> and that's something, don't get upset if like something breaks off when you're putting something else on, because that happens a lot. Or don't get upset if you have to take something apart and to feel like you're gonna make it be easier for yourself. You can't get this all the way in. Here it is. Look at this. Now I really can't get these stupid things 
they don't want to stay up there, so I might have to just like glue them on. But there it is. I love that it has like little stickers you put on everywhere and kind of keep the with the mode or whatever. But yeah, I really do have joys doing these, and there's pretty much a decent a decent amount of stuff left. Now we'll see what the next one is. This is the one that came in the same exact one as this one did. So it was $7.45. This one I am super excited for. I tried to get this on different um, sites or, or like sellers and they always had the picture of this, but they didn't have it. So this is going to be a little claw machine. I'm super excited for this one. Does it even say this one has little stickers and stuff too to put on? Oh my gosh. I hope it has like little mini toys. And here are the bags. I actually have to say that I'm moving farther along with this faster than I thought I was going to do. But I'm not like trying to stress myself out. I'm just kind of like doing it whenever I feel like it. Or want to have to spend a little 15 minutes or something like that. So now we have what? Two down? I don't remember how many more to go. Next time you see me, I guess we'll be... Let's just take a look at this one real quick. This one has 22 steps. It looks like the one through five are pretty much, maybe we'll do that again. So we'll do like, I'll do a row and then I'll check in and show you guys. All right, see you after row one. So here is steps one through five. Not gonna lie, putting these on, actually finding these little things and then putting them on was a little tedious. But we're on our way, I think I'm done for today. But we'll check back after the next row. Okay guys, this is just step six and seven. This was so tedious. Look at all those little tiny pieces. So tedious. Well, that's coming off a little bit right there. So tedious. So tedious. So now the next row is eight and only eight and nine, but it looks like a lot more stuff going on. Like I said, this one only has 21 steps, but they're pretty dramatic. <laughs> so I'm going to do eight and nine and then We'll take a look and that might be all for today. This little thing is coming together pretty quickly. I mean, that's just two more steps. We made that, put a little sticker on it, but the thing that's a little crooked. Built the thing inside with, I guess, oh, one flipped over with the coins in it. The next round will be 10 through 12. I think I might do that another day. And here we got number 10 through 12. So it's slowly starting to like come together. Little things in there, this is wheel to roll. All right, checking in after the next round. And now we've got 13 through 15. Isn't it crazy? Like you spent all this time intricately placing stuff inside there and then in turn, you just end up covering it up. I love the detail like they, that they have with these things. Did I do something wrong here? Should it be a little more? <laughs> you know what? I mess up here and there. I've messed up probably 40 times already. This thing is coming in clutch. Maybe it's supposed to be a hole like that. I'll check it out later. There's one that, that I did where I literally, it got me almost to the end and I realized I messed up like way, way far back. And I was like, you know what? Oh well, <laughs> it's my masterpiece. I do whatever I want with it. So there really is only, let's see, there's 16 through 22. I'm gonna do a few to show you kind of like the animals and stuff and then we'll finish up the rest of it. And here are the next two steps. Look at it, it's coming together. I don't, I don't know if there's apples in there <laughs> and bunnies and a little man. I feel like they're, they're never going to stay up straight. I tried to even use tweezers to get the apples to stay up straight, but it's just not doing it. A little thing to move it in the front, a little button to stop it, place to put your change in. This is where you get your prize. Game opens up. All right, so now the next step will be me just finishing the whole entire rest of the thing, and then we will move on to the next one. Hopefully you guys are finding this enjoyable. I'm, I'm having a good time doing it. Um, so here's this one fully finished. It's hard to keep those animals up, so it is what it is. It's so cute. I mean, obviously everything's a little wonky here. I could fix that. I love it. I wanted this one for so long. I didn't realize it was going to be this small, but it's so cute. Like, so cute. Here's another big up close. I think this is my favorite so far. Actually, I like them all. Now what are we doing next? Next, this one was $10. It looks a lot smaller. So it's only got 
one, two bags, three bags. Put a little bit less in the other ones, and I drop the picture on the floor. Okay, we are going to be making a little cake shop. So, like, as always, I'm going to kind of, how many steps are in this one? This one is 22 steps. Maybe we'll do, like, every few, every, maybe every couple lines, in case you're getting bored with all this. There's still more Legos to go, so... See when I got a little bit of this done. So I decided with this one just to do all the way through seven, because otherwise you wouldn't have seen a big, huge difference. Look at that. It's got little, all the intricate stuff on the inside. That's what I really like about these, is they don't like miss any type of like detail. I don't even know what those little things are, bread or whatever you had to put in. They're just kind of placed in there. All right, let's see it transform into a cake shop. So now we got eight through 12 done. Little awning going across. It was fun stuff. And then the inside, got a little lamp, little sign now for cakes, for cupcakes. It's starting to come together. Pretty cute. It looks like there's a whole other level we have, to, we have to make. So I don't know. I mean, there's 23 things. So maybe I'll do another four. It looks like a lot's going to change in four. And then we'll finish it up after that. But that'll be another day. All right, guys, so here we have 14 through 16. So you see a lot has changed. I gotta push that one back in. I don't know if you can see inside, but there's a little table and chair in there. A little plant. And we got this roof part build. And now what we have left is 17 through 21. And then this one we finished, a little cake shop. I love how you have little stickers put on there. I'm gonna stick this in right now. Boom. Stuck in now. <sighs> Look how cute. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll see what's next. I totally realized that I accidentally deleted the final of the cake shop. <laughs> so here is the final of the cake shop. Looks so cute, isn't it? Everything's so like detailed. Look at all that. All the way up here. They're small, but they take a lot of work. Even some of these things are like hard to get the things to actually stay stuck on. I'll probably do like a once over, like making sure everything's on there at the end. And since I forgot to, I deleted the end of this, now we're working on a pizza van. So the next clips will be pretty much into the pizza van. All right, guys. So if you hear anything, yet again, I'm doing laundry, double tasking. So this is steps one through 15, one through 13. One through 13, kind of getting a little bit of something coming together. Um, and then this right here, which I'm guessing is going to be the back of it. I was working on this right here and I didn't know I was only one space off, but it was not fitting and I was getting so frustrated. I took it apart and put it back together like 15 times. I almost gave up and then I really stared at the, the, the thing for a while and I realized I was one space off and it all came together. Thank God. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to do another bunch of a big amount because I already partially saw the video is already going to be pretty long. So I'm going to do maybe the next 10 or so steps and then we'll take a look. So now I just finished 14. 25 this really is like coming together now now this lego guy you actually had to put him together in like it was like one two three four five six seven eight like nine pieces just put that little lego, lego guy together but look it's all good to go the seat the steering wheel the only thing i couldn't do was get this stupid little thing it was supposed to be the shifter stuck in that blue thing right there i tried i tried guys see the sticker on the inside there's a little um oven behind him <laughs> It's cute. Now, this definitely isn't as big as the one that I did before my first um, LOL. Like, LOL is the brand of them. L sorry, LOZ is the brand of them. So I'm kind of, like, sad it's not going to be as big as the other one. But it's still just integrative work. Now I just got to try to find out if I can find more of the bigger ones. So we're already at, let's say, what, 25? I'll check in once it starts look looking different. Okay, guys, now we have 27 through 38. Look how much has changed. It is like crazy. Got an awning, the awning goes up and down. The only thing I'm having trouble is getting the awning to stick inside of there like it says, but this thing does come down and clips. I just can't figure out how to get it stuck, but work comes to worse, I just have it rolled up, no big deal. Oh, that came out. I'll fix that. <laughs> but even this thing right here, the top goes up. So you can see all the stuff that's on side. Look at all that. Detailedness. So I'm kind of thinking I might just finish the rest of it. Right now we got 
So we're working on B39 through 59. I might as well finish it, right? So I'm gonna finish it. Don't know how it's gonna take. Maybe I'll show you an update in the middle, not sure. All right guys, so it's finished. Here's the little setup that sits outside. I'm not gonna lie to you, this thing is delicate. <laughs> Some items I had to Gorilla Glue on. I'm having an attempt to open up the thing to show you because it fell off 15 times and every time I try to put it back together, the whole bottom will come off, the whole front will come off. I had to put this thing together like 15 times. But you know what, that's okay. I still have fun with it. <laughs> now, I think I'm gonna take a break. I need a little break from Legos. So, we still have a whole nother like street scene. I think it's like four buildings in a street scene. So I'm gonna get to them. Just uh not sure how long. Maybe I'll give it maybe I'll give myself a Lego break for like a Alright guys, so I took about a month off. <laughs> a little break. And now we have four more things to do. Now this whole four pack was forty seven dollars and it makes like a street scene. So this is just one right here. So this is the Photoshop looking like 14, only 14 steps. Oh, six, 17 steps, only 17 steps. And then this is what we're working with. I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty small. Here are these right here, got the stickers, got everything. So what I figure I'm gonna do with these last four, as to not like bore you, is I'm gonna put it halfway done, like maybe do the whole entire front page and then show you guys what it looks like and then we'll finish it off and I'll show you what it looks like. And like I said, we have four of these to do to make a little street scene. I'm excited to see what they look like. All right, check back in halfway through. All right guys, so I was wrong. There's actually 30 steps. So this is the first set of the whole entire front page. I just love the like intricateness. So this is a little Photoshop and you can see we have all the little things to kind of like, I think it should be, oh, that fell off, hold on. Like that. If you look inside, like it's like everything. Everything you possibly think of that would be in there. Like, look how cute. It's a little water jug right there. And now the rest of the steps we're building what I believe to be the roof going on to the next level. So that will be step number two. But I mean, I just love, and even all the little, I don't know if you can see it, but they all say the L-O-Z on them. You probably can't see that. All right, so now I'm going to do the upper, the second page, which will then be me finishing it. And then we'll go on to the next one. All right, guys, same day and I am finished. So this is our goal, a little Photoshop. And here is the mission accomplished. Now I won't lie to you, at one point I was putting something on and I squeezed so hard that the whole entire thing came apart. I almost gave up on it. <laughs> I almost was like, screw this thing. And then I was like, you know what, just do it. Look at all the little intricate things inside. The window is actually open. Make this thing up here. I'm very happy. These make me really, really happy. And I think it's mainly because they're so intricate and all the little stickers and how they see them come to life. So that one's done. I mean, now remember we have four. So our next situation is going to be a little clothing shop. That's what we're gonna make. And this is what it comes with. These should all be pretty much the same size and be able to sit right next to each other. So we have two bags right here, all the little stickers. Not doing them today. So next time, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to do like one in a whole day. Cause I think I can make it accomplished. If not, who knows? I'm gonna do it the same way where I'll do one half and then show you and then we'll show you at the end. Continuing on. All right, I've done everything one through 15, but 16 requires putting on the top, the second floor. So I wanted to show you guys first. Look, it's a little freaking dressing room that I had to make. A little cash register. These things go in and out. I mean, it's a sale going on. <laughs> and here is the top that we're gonna put on Right now, I guess I'm gonna put it on right now. Or sit here. Actually, see me apply something. So that goes in the back. This goes, I guess, right here. Watch me like mess up hardcore. It's hard. It's like they're very small, so it's easy to make like a little mistake. All right, this one kind of popped out. There we go. So now I'm gonna finish up. Oh, that's not even all the way. <laughs> now it is. <laughs> now it's not all the way. All right, and that's a little lamp down there. How cute. So now I'm just gonna finish up the rest of it and then we'll get to show you the final one and then what we were doing next.
All right, I'm not totally done, but I wanted to kind of show you before I close the top up. This is how far we've gotten now, or I've gotten. I need to push that down. But look, it's got a little like clothing rack. You can see it better from this side. The little clothes on it. Little check out thing. There's a mirror. The thing I like about these so much is that they are so intricate. Even things you might not even see afterwards, you know all that's been put into it. And you might just all the little stickers too. Like even the stickers on the front. I'd use tweezers for those. But it's just, they're just so neat to put together. All right, now I'm really going to finish it. These really are a lot of fun to make. <laughs> so now this is what we we're going for. I did do the top a little bit different because I thought it looked a little bit better than what they had. So here is mine. So it's kind of more separated up here so you can see it all. This is it in its final glory. Little person up there. I really love the accents and a little bit of like the stickers give. That's the top up there. I mean, like they put so much effort into making these. It's just, or I guess making them so I can make them. All right, now what is next? Oh, we also made this little person. <laughs> I probably won't use her. Focus. <laughs> All right, now next we are going to be making a barber shop. And here are all the things we're making with it. Here are the stickers that come with it. So I will check back when I am halfway through that one. All right, guys, I'm all finished. If you hear anything in the background, I'm doing laundry. Look at this thing. I guess the back is open, so that's the way, the way it is. Look at all that stuff. Those little scissors. I ended up putting the little lady, or ma lady, I guess, in the doorway since there was no door. But look at all that stuff. A little blow dryer comb they're so intricate and these are going to be the way that we're going to connect them together so at the end i guess one won't have them or i don't know so the next one we're going to do is going to be this little bakery final final of the video these are the two things we have to work with oh three things we have to work with here's a little sticker look at the little bread L L O Z really does a great job with making things so intricate and just so beautiful at the end. So again, I'm gonna kind of get halfway through or a part where the four the top gets on and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. I've had a lot of fun, but I'll be ready for a little Lego break after this. All right, see you soon. All right guys, so I've gotten to the point where it's time for the roof to go on. Look at this thing. Those are little croissants inside of there. The guy's working there, his register. It even says, oh sorry, they're doing the lawn. Even says like on sale, 30% off. The oven actually has a croissant in it too. Here's the roof already made. And these are all like intricate little pieces that have to go into it. Let's put the top on together. I feel like they do my lawn like every day. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. This is when I like break stuff. We get the gist of it. <laughs> I'll switch it on a little bit more. These both open. Super cute. Like I said, flowers usually are all over. Now, I don't want to do it today. But I'll finish it. I promise. I really need to go take a shower, but I'm kind of just like ready to finish this thing. But here we go. Here we got the top. Another oven that's stuff inside of it. More of the little things. I couldn't push one on here. It's supposed to be another one I could not push it on. But look at it. Super cute little bakery. Now it's time to do the top. I think I'm just going to finish it now. And then we'll, another day, go upstairs and put them all together and take a look at everything. So, on to the rest of it, hopefully. And I have finished it. Look how cute. These, like, move. What is that? All the little stickers on there. That really brings it to life, I think. All the stuff up there. I mean, this is intricate. Like, just this part of today is probably taking me two and a half hours. <laughs> but they still are fun and they're super duper cute. So the next clip we're going to have will be the final finale. We'll do it upstairs. We'll put those all together to make them one, hopefully. And then, I don't know if I'm going to have the shelving up right away, but at some point they'll be popping up behind me. At some point. All right. See you tomorrow. So guys, I'm finally finished. <laughs> this is probably the longest it's ever taken me to do one video. It was fun.
but probably if I was regularly going to be doing Legos, I wouldn't do them as quickly as I was doing them this time. But anyways, I'm glad I took that little break too. So I thought what I was going to do is just show you guys kind of in better lighting, up close and personal. So this is the pirate ship. Like I said before, oh, and also every single one of the links are dead now. I took too long. <laughs> but you can find these by searching LOZ or building blocks. You can find them. But they just are so intricate. So that's the pirate ship. Here is, I'm trying to break anything, the carousel, merry-go-round. I mean, it's really just, I love how they put all the little special touches and even like the stickers you can put on and like bring it to life. And then this is what sits in front of the like the ticket counter. So realistic. And then we have the cake shop. Here's the cake shop. Like I said, there's all the stuff like inside, which I absolutely love. But they didn't have to do stuff like that, but they did. And here's the little ice cream man that sits out front. Then for the life of me, I cannot get this top to stick on. And every time other pieces come off of it, but I still love this thing. I've wanted this forever. The little um, arcade game, the grab toys. Like I said, I can't get it to go on, but I'm not going to stress about it. Oh, let's see, a piece just fell off. I'll put that on later. But at some point, like I said, I'll have the things up here and we'll put them up there. So it's whatever. And then here is the pizza van, which I have ordered now a few more of these. I won't do it into a video, but I'll show you like, the, like when I get it. They're so intricate. I love them. And then here's a little person that sits out front having her having some fries and a pizza and a drink. And then for the ones we just finished, here is the bakery. And I really don't think I'm going to connect them. Because if you connect them, then like you lose part of it, like what it is. So I don't think I'm going to connect them. You can see inside there, a lot going on. See in here, person right there, all the stuff. There's an oven in the back. So cute. Then we got the barber shop. This right here. You can even open the windows. Of course, I can't right now. You can even open the windows. Remember, this one didn't come with the door, but it is what it is. Let me, let me move this around a little bit. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, like, so intricate. Like a blow dryer on top on the comb. Then we got the little clothing shop. Just, I just love them. I just <laughs> love them. Do I wish... They made these exact things maybe like this tall. I do. That would take a lot more time, but I do wish they were bigger. But that's okay. At least these are more like reasonable to get done. Even though my dad finished that Millennium Falcon in like five seconds, like two days, like that would have taken me weeks. And here's a Photoshop, little camera thing out front, like little film thing at the top. All your setup you need. Oh, I just broke that off. My dad glues every single item together, but the problem is that I make so many mistakes that I should not glue things together. Put it back on. There's that. So like I said, if you look for them, you can look up, I broke it again, look up LOZ. That's the brand of all of these. I, every single one that I bought from them has been great. And that one that, where the door wasn't available, didn't have it. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. I've always gotten all the, all the pieces. There's a huge selection. So if you enjoy something like this, which I feel like this is my thing. This is like, everybody says like DIY or crafty. I'm not really crafty, but I feel like little like Legos are fun because I like building stuff. Like Ikea furniture, even though I get frustrated. So sorry if this video was kind of like all over the place. It's my first time kind of filming a long drawn out video. In the beginning, I was just like, am I going to film it going down? Am I going to film it up like this? So I'm glad in the end, I kind of just took it <laughs> to a different level. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, could today be the day? I mean, it could, if you wanted to. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.